guys, so today's video is very different for me uh, because I am announcing my first ever readathon. Uh, I'm sure most of you are aware of what readathons are, but readathons are essentially um, when online, I, I guess you could do them offline too, but when online people designate a set amount of time, say like a week, a fortnight, or a month. And uh, between that time, everyone tries to read um, perhaps as much as possible, sometimes it's as diversely as possible, but to just sort of like read communally with one another, sometimes most often around one theme. So some of my favourite readathons are like the Queer Lit readathon, which I did a vlog for, I'll link that down below if you want to see what I got up to that week with my reading. Um, but I myself have never ran a readathon and I have been on Booktube since 2012, so <laughs> I'm kind of shocked that it's taken me this long. But I guess um, there's so many other readathons out there that I've never necessarily felt the need to start one, but there is something I would like to make a priority for all of us that we can do together in March. So I decided I would run a readathon focusing on reading works of fantasy literature written by women. So obviously this is quite specific, um, but if you've been watching my channel over the past couple of years, you'll know how much I love fantasy and how much I have been um, trying to diversify uh, the fantasy I read um, the, and, and, and read more fantasy by women and women from different backgrounds and seek out, um, yeah, just more exciting books within that genre because I think traditionally fantasy has been um, kind of in the 20th century a very male dominated uh, genre and there are certainly some fantasy novels and series that I adore that are written by men but I really wanted to shine a light on the wonderful fantasy written by women. So because I love reading fantasy by women so much I thought it'd be fun to read some fantasy by women together over the course of about eight days uh, in the beginning of March. So the dates for this readathon are going to be from Saturday the 2nd of March to Sunday the 10th of March, so just over a week. I'm um, just because those are the dates I picked. I particularly wanted to do it that week because the 8th of March, which falls during that week, is International Women's Day, which is a wonderful day um, that's purpose is, is to celebrate women's progress in society and um, perpetuate that progress and continue fighting for women's rights. So. I thought it would be an ideal time to host this readathon, and I am hosting it with my friend Jill, who has been on my channel a few times, so you might recognise her. She does have her own channel, although she would be the first to admit that she is an irregular poster. When she does post, her videos are brilliant. And she too loves reading fantasy and fantasy written by women and we share that love together whenever we are together and over messenger constantly and love reading books together and buying books together that are fantasy written by women. So what that means is that Jill and I will be um, sort of encouraging you to read during that week over on Twitter in particular and our hashtag is Femme Fan Tale. So I said to Jill, I wish I had like a witty name for this readathon because all I can think to call it is women in fantasy or something like that. And Jill instantly, off the top of her head, obviously came up with a great idea which was the Femme Fan Tale readathon, which is a play on the, the term Femme Fatale, but we've uh, made Fatale into Fan Tale as in fantasy tales. So use that hashtag if you want to join in on the discussions and we will be regularly um, sort of trying to uh, keep things up during the week and chat to you all about our reading and also host some reading sprints which essentially means um, either Jill or I or both of us will be sitting down for say an hour or so in front of our computer or our phone um, and encouraging everybody to read as much as possible and really get into the spirit of everything in that hour and then equally uh, chat about our reading and hopefully start up some discussions surrounding women in fancy literature. And like I said, I really feel like this is also an opportunity to opportunity to encourage everybody to read as diversely as possible a range of fantasy written by women. So I did make a bingo board which are popular amongst readathons which has 12 bingo squares on it. And the aim of the game is to try and tick those off during the readathon. You certainly do not have to tick off all, if any, of those bingo squares during the week. But I know personally that it's fun to kind of sometimes have those little challenges to kind of focus your reading, help you pick some different books than you might usually, um, and just make it into a bit more of um, a game if that's something you're interested in. So like I said, there's 12 bingo squares, which to me is impossible. I will never read 12 books in 
eight days. It's just not going to happen, but you can certainly overlap. So for example, you could simultaneously read a book that is an adult novel, that's a historical fantasy novel, and is written by a BAME author. There you go, three boxes ticked off. Um, it's just in the hopes of making you maybe try something a little bit different, even if it is within the fantasy genre. So I'll read out to you what's on the bingo board, but I'll also put a picture of it here. Um, first box is to read a queer or LGBTQ plus uh, a fantasy book, depending on uh, what uh, categorization you prefer there. But obviously a fantasy book that either portrays a sexuality other than heterosexuality or um, somebody who is trans which is something I'm always looking for more recommendations of so please do leave them down below. I've also put romance on there, a book inspired by a myth um, or mythology in general so it doesn't have to be a retelling of a myth, it could be something like Oh My Gods by Alexander Shepard which just involves Greek um, gods, but it also doesn't have to be Greek mythology, I know I go on about Greek mythology a lot, but any sort of mythology from any culture. Uh, a piece of translated fiction, I um, would love your fantasy translated book recommendations written by women, um, because I think um, that's still something I'm struggling to find loads of. Um, one that I have read is A Winter's Promise by Christel Dabos, but would love more recommendations. Uh, a standalone book, as opposed to a book in a series. I'm a book by a BAME author, which is um, stands for Black and Minority Ethnic, so essentially an author who's not white. Again, just because it's only on there once certainly doesn't mean you should only read one book that fills it, falls into that category. Um, a fairy tale retelling, a novella, a book published before 2000, so you kind of check out some more classic fantasy written by women, a historical fantasy, and a YA and an adult. I put YA and adult so that if you tend to to read more adult fantasy you might check out a YA fantasy and if you tend to read more YA fantasy you might check out an adult fantasy and just sort of uh, change things up for yourself. But I myself will do a TBR for the readathon um, in a few days closer to the time trying to tick off as many boxes as I can with overlapping books. There's already definitely a few that I think I would like to prioritise reading that week um, and you might find inspiration in that video. But equally, if you're looking for recommendations of books to read that week, do let me and everyone else know in the comments and we can all chat about it and share our recommendations with one another. I would love to do that. Again, the readathon is running from the 2nd of March, Saturday the 2nd, to Sunday the 10th of March. Whatever time zone you're in and the hashtag on Twitter will be Hashtag Femme Fan Tale, um, which hopefully I have remembered to post here so you can see it. But I will also link Jill's channel and Twitter down below because, um, like I said, she'll be helping me out running Twitter sprints and uh, starting up discussions on Twitter and uh, sharing book recommendations. And honestly, Jill has some brilliant fantasy book recommendations. And I'm just really excited to have a week dedicated to reading fantasy by women because I love it so much and I think it will be fun to have other people participating in doing that along with me. Equally, if you're looking for more excellent recommendations, something I would recommend checking out on Goodreads is uh, The Lady Vault, which is a Goodreads book club run by Elizabeth over at Books and Pieces uh, that I absolutely adore. Every month they read a uh, classic fantasy or science fiction book written by a woman and they pick up some really obscure stuff, some stuff that gets overlooked quite often, um, the idea being that they're looking back into the vaults and pulling out some books that deserve some attention, um, and they read a different book every month, so they've obviously uh, picked some excellent books in the past and have some excellent books lined up, um, including their March read, which is by Kate Forsyth, and a book that I myself have been meaning to read for a while, so may pick up during the readathon in honour of the Lady Vaults. I think that covers all of the bases. Again, never ran a readathon before, so I'm not sure what the priorities are when filming a readathon announcement. If I have missed out any information or you have any questions, of course, that is what the comment section is for. I will be there answering those questions. And I'm just really excited because this is a kind of category of literature that gets me so enthusiastic that um, I think uh, the whole week will just be an absolute buzz for all of us uh, that are interested. Let me know if you're thinking of participating. And until next time, happy reading. I'll see you all again soon. Bye, guys.